Hi Pisces, welcome to your daily reading. Okay, judgment. Some news or communication that you've been hoping for, expecting, anticipating. It's finally coming in. That could just be a side message. Yeah, I feel like I've been waiting for this, hoping for this. Not sure what was going to happen. Clarity is coming. All right, so this is going to be a reading for any significant Pisces placements that you may have. And even if you don't have any Pisces placements, it's just a house in your chart. But you were guided to the video. Trust that guidance. It just means there's a message for you here. Take what resonates, disregard the rest. Never force anything to fit if nothing makes sense to you. It's either not happened yet, so you're just kind of clueless at this point. Come back and see it later. Or um, it's just not your reading today, and that's okay. Feel free to check out any other video on the channel. Thank you all for your likes and for sharing the videos and for all your beautiful comments and sharing your stories with me. I really appreciate it. And of course, thank you for subscribing. We're almost at 2,000. For anyone who's new, this is Pisces Tarot and Advice. My name is Monica and welcome. I hope you find these readings useful. And for everyone who's returning or if you're coming over from my other channel, Advice to Think Twice, welcome back. And I am very grateful that you're here. Very happy to have you part of our community. Thank you for your continued support. All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on. What does Pisces need to know at this time? Oh, okay. He's got a bit of a head rush. <laughs> so we'll see what that's about. Hmm. I get a sense of you're just chilling. You're just chilling, doing your thing. You just want to chill. But there's something coming in where you're just going to have to hit the ground running. And that's the head rush. Yeah, I feel like I need to pause to catch my breath. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, long-term goals, long-term plans. Uh, looking at your investments, what, what is worth it, what is not. Could also be waiting for something. Queens are more passive energy compared to Kings, for example, where we nurture, we grow, we support, and then we're just kind of waiting to see results sometimes. Current situation, the Six of Pentacles. Mutual energy, uh, reciprocal, ask and shall receive. It can be, uh, I hear grace, charity. You're be, you could be receiving something you've asked for, applied for, um, or this is you being uh, char charitable. The challenge, we have the Eight of Swords. Holding back from something. So maybe you're giving to something and you're not sure if, either if they're giving anything in return where you're not sure if what they're giving is really what they should be giving compared to what you're giving and you're assessing that investment that could be a relationship that could be a friendship could be uh, a dynamic at work okay two swords and for some of you i was going to say you could be cutting something off or cutting someone off because there's an imbalance Either something is not in line with where you want it to be and where you want it to go in terms of your long-term goals and plans. Uh, someone's not pulling their weight. Someone's not doing their part. So you are not talking to them, not interacting with them anymore, closing off mentally, emotionally, closing off communication. Or this is your challenge because the Eight of Swords with the Two of Swords in a reading both talk about avoiding something because it could because looking at it would lead to the ten of swords it would hurt and you'd have to end it let's see what else we're getting in the recent past we have the two of wands i feel like you've made a decision you've made a different decision if this is a situation where it was an ongoing cycle pisces that's what you didn't really want to look at for the longest time because it would have led to some sort of massive change a big ending in your life Recently, you've made a different decision than what you would usually do. You took a different path, you took a different course of action, you made a different choice compared to what you would usually do. Yes, Harvey. When it comes to this situation, this person. On the mind, page of cups. This is new energy. You could be feeling inspired again, creative again. Yes, Harvey. You want to say hi to everybody? 
where did you go? What is on your fur? Harvey? No. Harvey? Oh, Lord. Okay. Yeah, those um, new ideas on the mind. Are you Harvey? Mommy? Dude, chill. Give me a minute, okay? Yes, you're cute. Give me a minute. Um, either a new idea on the mind. This girl will be communication coming in, an invitation, an opportunity. Could also be some sort of apology or peace offering. Let's see what's going on. Oh, here's the judgment card again. The emperor and the fool. Yowza. Heavy hitters. Yeah, Pisces, you're definitely wrapping up a big cycle. You're making a different decision. It's a final decision, which again tells me you're not revisiting anything. You're in your power with the emperor. And with the fool, you're going for something. You're taking a chance. So what could be on your mind is you reaching out to something, you applying for something, you initiating a conversation, asking for a meeting, etc. Okay, but you're going for something here, Pisces. You're just you're just going for it. You freed yourself from something. It's final decision. You're not going back to it. And you're going full speed ahead in a new direction. And again, this could be going on in your personal life at work, any other endeavor you got going on. Okay, the bottom line that I'm getting, Pisces, and we've been seeing this energy, is you're, you're cutting something off because it's not balanced, it's not mutual, it's not healthy. It's not in line with where you wanna go in life at all or not anymore. For a long time, you refuse to look at it with the Eight of Swords, Two of Swords. So that tell, that's an energy of I choose to believe what I choose to believe. I don't want to look at it. I'm telling myself what it is. I don't want to look at it to see it for exactly what it is. Does that make sense? It's that kind of an energy. However, with this being in your recent past, this tells me you've already made a decision to take a different course, to take a different direction. This is also a splitting of the paths. If you are, were on a path with someone else, or with a particular situation in a particular place with a particular company, whatever this is, there has been a splitting of the ways, a parting of the ways recently. You've got something new on the mind you want to head towards. It's a final decision. And you're taking a leap of faith in a completely new direction. This is where we clear the slate, clean the slate, whatever. This is where it's a whole it's a whole new thing. It's a new it's a new slate literally we don't know what's going to happen but we're happy we're hopeful we're excited so this could be you accepting a new job this could be you starting your own business with the emperor and you're just going for it this could be the approval from the government or the the approval that the registration went through whatever this is there's also some sort of praise some sort of positive reviews here that could help further this right so if you've made a decision you know you don't want to be turning back. You're not sure where to go from here, though. There's some sort of communication, some sort of praise, some rec recognition that makes the new path clear for you, okay? Where it gives you confirmation, affirmation that um, you made the right decision and that kind of spurs you on this new path even further, if that makes sense. All right, let's see. Clarify for Pisces. What is this about? Big, big heavy hitters here, though, with major arcana energy. It can be anything in your life. And it's usually a situation that involves changes across several planes, okay? Not just in one place, in one direction. This is something that impacts all areas of your life somehow. Six of Pentacles in the current situation. We have the moon. You've been in a place of confusion or inaction or fear of taking action. We've seen the moon a lot lately. We are, I think, it, we just had a full moon. So the effect of that, and it was a super full moon, so the effects of that will linger. I feel like that's the reason for this avoidance energy. There's too much going on. I'm not sure what to do, so I'm not going to do anything right now. Eight of Swords is the challenge. Queen of Cups, you've been holding yourself back. You've been holding yourself back. But now what's on the mind is you want to make that offer or extend that offer or accept that offer, okay? Two of Swords in the Foundation, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you avoided this because it would have led to a conflict or big change. Knights are changes. You avoided this because it would have led to a big change and 
conflict. There's no way around it. Some drama, some conflict, some people having opinions. Confrontation, you avoided a confrontation, basically, okay? Recent past two of wands, the Wheel of Fortune, you said, F it, <laughs> I'm done. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna think about this anymore. Look at all these swords over here. I wanna go for it. I wanna go for it, see what happens. I wanna take a chance and see what happens in a new direction. This is new energy, okay? On the mind, the Page of Cups. Yeah, Knight of Cups. You want to... If you've got out of a relationship, you want to express how you feel to a new person. Okay, For these looking at each other in the Six of Pentacles in your reading tells me that it's mutual. It will be very well received. Um, for others of you, there's been a job offer or someone's been t talking to you. Hey, you're too good for this place. Look at this company. Look at that company. And again, you've been avoiding it for the longest time. And now you're like, you're putting yourself out there. As soon as you put yourself out there, there's new opportunities coming in very, very quickly. Is that sort of energy, okay? Judgment, the Emperor, and the Fool. We have the Nine of Swords, the Page of Swords, the Four of Swords. Look back into the swords territory however this is just confirming that for the longest time you held back you didn't want to take action for swords page of swords held back because you didn't want to face an issue face a situation address a situation because it would have because it would have led to conflict confrontation this also tells me that you're now finding peace calm on this new path that you're choosing for yourself don't overthink it it's very clear the choices the options are very clear your heart is very clear your intuition is very clear to you of what you want to do what's been the issue is overthinking it okay what else for Pisces we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Cups. This is when you start to plan, you start to contemplate, you start to imagine, to picture your happily ever after, where this new path is going to take you. So I feel like for the time we're looking at, there is a conversation happening, communication coming in or going out, um, mutual interest expressed somehow between you and a person or a party or a company or a, a project or an opportunity whatever the case may be and then action being taken with the fool and the emperor a process is starting something new is starting okay under the queen of pentacles we have the three of wands i feel like you've been very patient with something else this thing that you're leaving behind you've been very patient with it to the point where it was just a burden it wasn't going anywhere it was just weighing you down okay and that's the realization you had and that's the acceptance that you came to okay ace of cups ten of pentacles the knight of wands your ace of cups and ten of pentacles involved a change of residence job situation okay and that's what you're doing Six of Wands. That's what you're doing. All right, Pisces. So I'm seeing lots of new energy, fresh. It's exciting. It's hopeful. It's joyful. It's daydreamy. You know, oh my God, this would be, this could go there. This could go there. Anything is possible. You're at the stage where with the Fool, the Seven of Cups, anything is possible. Um, so there's mutual interest being expressed here. Again, confirming Six of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, looking at the Page of Cups. Um, and then it's taken one step further. Okay, so there's a conversation or there's communication. And then a step further. Let's meet up. Let's do this. Let's do that. Okay. Um, and that's kind of what I'm seeing happening today. It's a new process. It's a new path. But it leads you to your happily ever after. If you wanted to pursue it, if you want to nurture it treat it properly it will be your happily ever after it, it's a very you made the right decision Pisces you will have clarity and confirmation that you made the right decision when it comes to confronting whatever needed to be confronted 
and leaving it behind, letting that cycle close and just choosing something different. Okay, getting off the hamster wheel. I am worth loving, flew out. I do not have to earn love. I'm lovable because I exist. Others reflect the love I have for myself. So Pisces, for the longest time and with the Queen of Cups, their self-love was a challenge. So here's the situation. You got the Queen of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles, right? Different energies here, swords and, and, and cups. You were in a situation, Pisces, where you constantly had to prove yourself. You constantly had to earn attention, affection, love, recognition. It was never given freely. You always had to work for it. And then every time you had to work harder for it, okay? Dealing with a situation where you were being breadcrumbed, dealing with a situation where someone wasn't doing much, but they were expecting everything of you. And what you're moving towards is something that is balanced, it's mutual, it flows. You don't have to prove yourself every single minute of every single day, okay? And it was a lesson in self-love and self-respect, okay? Did I show you the back? I don't know. Pause to read it for yourself. Flowers could be a confirmation for you today or petals, okay? But Pisces, that is what I'm seeing. You're letting go of something that was just less than you deserved, quite frankly. You were could too good for that thing, that person, that situation. It was lopsided on the best of days, okay, where you were doing a lot more than you should have and they were doing a lot less than they should have. Putting that behind you, getting off that hamster wheel of constantly working for something, constantly working to prove yourself, getting off that hamster wheel, clearing the slate and initiating some sort of conversation here, sending out a message, going back, dig that email back up and respond to it, return that phone call, whatever that is, okay. It's mutual interest being expressed and then let's do this, let's do that, let's plan for this, let's plan for that. That's that's the energy with the fool there, okay? But it's hopeful, it's uplifting, it's exciting and it's very different. It's brand new. This isn't something you're familiar with or have history with, I wanna make that clear. This is brand new, something completely different, okay? So it could be a different industry, a different type of department, a different type of environment, a different type of working, a different type of person, okay? But you're very excited about it, as you should be, all right? So go for it, Pisces. Let me know what this is for you, if you resonate with the reading, but um, I feel like it's mostly a confirmation reading today, Pisces, because a lot of you have already made the decision, a lot of you have already had the confrontation, a lot of you are just figuring out, just making sure you made the right choice before you figure out where you wanna go from here or you're open to a new path to present itself to you. So I feel like today is a confirmation reading. All right, so let me know what kind of confirmation you're getting from the reading. All right, but I'm gonna leave it there. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.